noble station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them. A decent respect of the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to separation. Yes, yeah. yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, that uh, means down with the British. <laughs> well, we're getting to that. <laughs> we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Ooh. That they are. In, I know what you're saying. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That is, that among those are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men deriving their power, just powers from the consent of the governed. <laughs> that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it, and yeah, institute yeah. a new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to, as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence, indeed, will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shewn not a word, <laughs> that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations pursuing invariably the same object invinces, it's getting a bit complicated, I don't know. Uh, invinces the design to reduce them under absolute despotism, see Britain, it is their right, <laughs> it is their duty, it is their right, it is their duty to throw off such government and to provide new guards for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies, and such is now the necessity which constrains them to alter their forms of systems of government. The history of the present King of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having in direct object the establishment of an absolute tyranny Yay, over these yeah, states. Baby. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> to prove this, let facts be submitted to a candid world. 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 Word. <laughs> Let's get to the end here. It goes on for a while. About, about being in arms. Yeah. Well, it does. Well, no, no. That's an amendment. That's actually, amendment. we get to that later. Yeah. That's an he, by the way, George, one of the things he did is he has plundered our seas, ravaged our coasts, burnt our towns, and destroyed the lives of our people. Woo! <laughs> uh, I'll read the last sentence here. Yes. Things which uh, that these united colonies are and of right ought to be free and independent states, that they are absolved from all allegiance to the British crown, and that all political connection between them and the state of Great Britain is and ought to be totally dissolved, and that as free and independent states they have full power to levy war, conclude peace, <laughs> contract alliances, establish commerce, and do all other acts and things which one. independent states may of right do. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge, pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. Yeah, baby! Sign, John. <laughs>